Thank you for calling IRS Department. How can I help you? Hi, may I speak to Scott Anderson, please? Scott Anderson? Who am I talking to? Um, my name is Sam. Um, I was told that I needed to speak to somebody about the my uh, an issue with my IRS. My wife gave me this number to call. All right, so can I have your own phone number where you got to call? Um, hold on, hold on. Go a bit slower, okay? All right, come again. All right, can I be hold on for a moment to like grab your details? Okay? Sure, sure. Yeah, thank you. Sir, can, can you repeat the number? Yep. Uh, is this your home phone number you gave me right now? Yeah, that's my home phone number. Uh, can you repeat the number? All right, let me check it out. Okay. Yeah, so you said it, this is your home phone number, right? Yep. Can we spell your first name, sir? All right, Mr. You're speaking with Officer Steven Jones with the legal department of IRS. How are you doing today? Uh, fine, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. Now, Mr. Gatcher, the reason of my call is to inform you regarding a legal complaint. So regarding, there is a legal complaint that has been filed against your name and your identity. So regarding this case, have you received any phone calls from your state police department? Yes, I have. When did you receive the call, sir? When? Uh, I got, I received one last week and then I received another one yesterday. From the state police department? Yeah. Which, what did they tell you? You said you were an officer? Yeah, you're, you reached the legal department of IRS, Internal Revenue Service Department, Washington, D.C. Are you in Washington, D.C.? That's right, sir. Your area code is 202. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so um, can I get your badge number, please? Yeah, it's LKM2326. MKM2623? Uh-huh. 2326. 2326. Okay. So, uh, what kind of complaints did you say that I was receiving? Yeah, because your taxes of the year 2012 were not filed correctly. There was an error of your records. How much, how much uh, information do you have on my records? There are, there are three serious allegations filed against you. Count 1, breach of contract. Count 2, collateral tax fraud. Count 3, Violation of taxes and rules and regulations. The charges are on your name from the federal government in regards to form number 61 that was missing out of your records of the year 2012. And because of that, there is an amount showing outstanding on your name. And right now, there is an arrest warrant that has been issued against your name, and rights have been given to our department to cancel your passport and cancel your citizenship. Oh, uh, this, my passport should still be active. Does, does it show it there? Sorry? My, my passport should still be active. Does it show there that my passport is still active? I hope they haven't deactivated it. We are not authorized to provide you any of the confidential details over this recorded and monitored line, okay? Got it. Okay. So no confidential details whatsoever. Yeah. So we called you because your records were good. You're always filing your taxes correctly. You have never been arrested for any illegal cases. And that's the reason you're raising the call from the IRS department, just to know your final intention, whether would you like to resolve this case out of the courthouse by filing up the outstanding amount, or would you like to go ahead with the legal charges and fight the case against the IRS department inside the courthouse? Um, and how much do I owe? Let me check it in my system. Sure. Yeah, the amount is due on the name is $1,465. One, four, six, five. Does it show um, what my, wait, so what do you see on my, do you, so you can see right there that my, my taxes were filed incorrectly on 2012? Yeah, that's right. And your case file has been forwarded to the headquarters of IRS legal department, Washington, D.C. Oh, can you, can you tell me what, what my salary was that year? I'm pretty sure that was a pretty good year for me. No, sir, we cannot provide you any other details regarding this. But my you, job profile is here just to investigate. Okay. But you just told me you just you, but you just told me that that I you have legal information. You can tell me how much I owe, but you can't tell me how much I have. We are not supposed to provide you all the details regarding that. But you just told me how much I owe, so that's another detail that you're not supposed to provide for me. Sir, give me.
we just flat answer whether you want to resolve this case out of the courthouse. We are already running short of time. We have many cases to deal with in, in the whole day. Okay, yeah. so let me know your intention. What a you want to do? A lot of people, a lot of people are in, in trouble for 2012. And that's right, because there are many cases who are not aware, aware about this form <laughs> and who missed out this form oh, and shit. left this, okay? So it is not you are your one single case, there are many cases, okay? Um, they are similar like you. So let me know your intention whether what you want me to do right now. No, I would, I would definitely love to handle this, but first I need a little more information from you so that I can make sure that this is going to a valid source. I mean, I, I think you're the IRS and I think that makes a lot of sense. And I, I believe you because I know you wouldn't lie to me. Um, let me get my information here ready for you, and um, let me let me make sure that I have everything for you, because I would love to take care of this. Because I... let me tell you one thing, sir. If you in war, uh, uh, in the light right now, as the war has been, is... okay, I'm ready for you now. Uh, what are you doing, sir? Oh, are you acting like you can't hear me? <laughs> I uh, now I can hear you just fine. I think you're the one who's breaking up. Yeah. Yeah, now it's okay. Okay, so, so I right have my now, I have my credit card number ready for you if you're if you're ready. What? I have my credit card number ready if you're ready for it. No, we don't accept your. Why do we want your credit card? Because we are not authorized to share any of your confidential details over this phone call. This has to be filed through a federal procedure that will be provided to you by my payment department officer. Okay, okay. cool. Okay. So you want to resolve this case after the courthouse? Uh, n yes, please. Uh, so in that case, uh, let, uh, can you please provide me with your cell phone number so that I can update your details to my payment department officer? I, I don't have a cell phone. I'm sorry. I only have a house phone. I, I work in the um, in in the IT industry, and I only have my house phone because I work from home. All right, not a, not a problem. So, do you have sufficient amount to take care of this case? One thousand four hundred and sixty-five dollars, as in cash with you, are in your bank account. Uh, yes. Cash or bank account, sir? I asked you. You want? Do you want to access my bank account? I no, I don't want access through your bank account because this has to be done through a federal procedure. You have to purchase a card from the department store that will be provided to you by my payment department officer. Okay, so let uh, you only guide it accordingly. So I asked you, do you have this amount as in cash with you or in your bank account? Yes. So I can update these details to my payment department officer. Okay, sure. Can I just talk to him directly then? I'll handle it with him then. I said, before I transfer your call to my officer, I want the information whether you have this amount as in cash with you or in your bank account. I have it in my bank account, yes. And you have debit card for the same, right? Yes. All right, so please be on hold for a moment till I connect your call to my officer, okay? Okay, thank you. What was your name again? Thank you. My name is Officer Stephen Jones. Stephen Jones, okay. That's right. Yeah, thank you. All right, thanks for being on hold and thanks for your patience. I'm attacking to you. Uh, yes, that's correct. Oh, yeah, I'm Mr. This is Officer Alan Walton calling you from the payment department of IRS. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing fine, Alan Walton. Um, how are you, sir? How are you, sir? I'm fine, and uh, Mr. The reason that uh, one of our legal officers informed you that there is an amount that is due under your name, and that is, let me just check it up in my system. That accident is Yeah, it was one four six five. That is one thousand four hundred and sixty five dollars. So you say you want to take care of this amount and you want to resolve this matter, right? Yes, please. Um, uh, could you please break down the charges for me? Like, are they service charges? Are they fees? Are they interest charges? What kind of charges are these? You're sure I can do that. Once your amount has been filed in the IRS system, we can drop all of the charges that are filed against your name. And we can also dismiss your case from the code, so there cannot be any legal you know, trouble for you. Oh, man, that's relief. Thank you. Okay. So as this amount, that is $1,465, I'll guide you with the procedure step by step. Do you have the sufficient amount to take care of this matter as in cash with you, or do you have this amount in your bank account? Oh, yeah, I got I got plenty of it. But I, I just got to know, though, like, what kind of, what is the charges, and can you break down for me exactly what is on the invoice of what I, what I owe? Can you tell me if they were um, interest charges or were they brokerage fees? Um, because so I this is this is the your base amount that was regarding your federal tax that got missed. There are no penalties included over this. 
because as the government gave you the opportunity to resolve this matter outside the court, there is no include dead of the penalty and the interest rates. This is the base. And it's $1,465. You said it was the base? Um, is there like a breakdown of this base? Because I'm sure there's something that builds up to the base, right? No. There is no penalty charges that are being included with this amount. This is the settlement amount. That was the basic amount that you failed to attach on your tax record regarding your Form 61. Which year was it? Can you pardon me? What year was it that where I failed to do my taxes correctly? It was the year of 2012, 2013 financial year. Wait, probably or certainly? Because probably and certainly are yeah, two different... Yeah, certainly. Okay, so it was probably or certainly 2012, 2013. Got it. Okay, um, yeah. and it was 1,566, you said? It's 1,465. Okay. Okay, so um, sure, how, how, how do we proceed with this matter? Um... I have my... Uh... Sure, I can guide you with the procedure. Do you have this amount as in cash with you, or do you have this amount in your bank account? Uh, both. I, I, have, I actually have that on me in cash, and I have a little bit extra in my account as well. Okay. So as you have this amount as in cash with you, let me go ahead and guide you with the procedure. Just a moment. Sure. All right, so as you have this cash amount with you, you have to file this amount through the federal procedure, that is through a federal card, and I'll let you know the procedure, how you have to do it. Do you have any of a CVS pharmacy store near to your home? Do I have any what? I'm sorry? A CVS pharmacy or a Rite Aid? Uh, yes. Okay, which one is closer to you, a CVS or a Rite Aid? Uh, CVS. CVS. So what you can do is that you can take this amount that is a cash with you, that is $1,465, and you can get a federal card from the CVS store as well as you can even get it in Rite Aid. But as the CVS is still more closer to you, you can go to your CVS store. And uh, once you park your car in the parking lot, once you reach there, just update me. So I'll give you the instructions on how you can get this card from there. And you can even uh, carry like a $15 extra with you because they're going to charge you like a $15 as a service fees, okay? Got it. So once you reach the CVS parking lot, you can buzz me, so I'll give you the instructions, okay? Oh, so, okay. You can take your cash with you, and you can move your car to the CVS store. Once you reach there, just update me. I'll be holding the line for you, okay? Hey, uh, I just have a quick question for you. Um, I, I have this... Um this company that I've been working with, and they might have they might have uh, filed the the taxes incorrectly in 2012. Uh, okay. Um, they're called um, the Maga Chod. Sorry. The, I have a company. Um, it's named. It's it's called Maga Chod. Okay. Um, I, I just I just I just have to ask you, are are you a Maga Chod? Are you a Maga Chod? Sorry, Laura. Are are you a? Um, Can you pardon me, Laura? Are you a Maga Chod? Sorry. Are you a Sharmut? I didn't got you, Laura. Are you a Sharmut Maga Chod? Uh, I didn't got you, Randy. You a lot. Ben Chod by Maga Chod Ben Chod. Maga Chod Ben Chod. What's yeah. that? They told me that um a, a Maga Chod from the IRS is gonna call me. <laughs> yes, exactly. I didn't got you. What are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you that you're a complete phony and you're a fraud. Okay, Randy, you a lot? And uh, you guys are... Uh, good luck uh, trying to get some money. I heard you guys got like $4 million. That's pretty impressive. Oh, he hung up. Damn it.